Okay, hello everyone. This is a video card that's gone bad. It's a Gigabyte GTX 8800, GTS, sorry, 8800. And uh, we've been using it for several years now. It has crapped out and it is showing red lines on the monitor when running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the oven reflow technique which we have never tried before and have absolutely no idea what will happen with it. But the concept is pretty simple. The soldering points on the card itself apparently degrade over time, causing all sorts of connection issues. And uh, the idea is that the reflow will just briefly melt all the soldering points on the board itself, and then they will harden, and since they have been briefly melted, they will become alike new. I've heard many people say that this has fixed their card problems, whether the card was completely dead or tended to freeze up or also caused these red line issues which we've been experiencing. Uh, as I said, we've never done this before, so uh, good luck to us. Uh, bear in mind that this will absolutely void any warranty. If anyone still has a warranty on one of these cards, I'm surprised. But uh, we obviously don't, so we have nothing to lose. And um, we're going to start. All right, so obviously we start off by taking the screws off of the board itself. Bear in mind that there are a whole bunch of screws here that will hold the whole heatsink and fan assembly to the card itself. In a moment, let's try to peel this off again. Whoa, look at this. Comes out perfectly. Little electrical plug here for the fan. See the plug? Try to remove that. Little tug of war going on here, but it's out. And there you go. You have the card and you have the assembly itself. My god, this sucker is filthy. Okay, we're gonna have to clean it up. <clears throat> so that's our next step. Clean up here. It's oven time. See you on the flip side. Alright, put some tin foil in a tray. And the idea is to plop this on the tray, but not to have the silicone itself touch the tray. We want to get that card elevated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take aluminum foil and make little balls out of the foil. Just put one here. I believe we're good to go. Take a look. Anywhere between 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit which is anywhere between 180 to 200 Celsius for 10 minutes. And let's plop Mr. GTS in. Bye bye. We are back. So this is the card after it's cooled off. It was in the oven, remember, for 10 minutes at just about 400 degrees. Igor, my assistant, is bringing in the equipment for testing this thing now. Put it down by the computer. Thank you. And now we will go ahead and prepare this for assembly. 
First thing we'll need is some thermal paste to replace the one that we wiped off. Let me go get that. Paste here, and we are going to put back the heat sink and fan assembly. God help us. Obviously put this in the right direction. I have a feeling we should stick in the power plug before we bother putting it on. Cool. All right, so we've put this back together and we have three possible outcomes one is it won't work at all at this point and which point we will, at which point we will realize it's time to trash the motherfucker the other is that we still get red lines on the screen um, and that means that this will have done jack shit and the third one is that it will work swimmingly which means we're playing battlefield in a moment so wait for the outcome Okay, folks, looks like this thing fucking works. Screen looks fine, no red lines anymore, and uh, we're going to try to run a game and see how that runs. So we'll be back in a moment. A lot of